So there's a lot there, right? And we can kind of talk about maybe the why the, the, the Nets are doing this. I think, I think you hit it very well. But there is a notion out there. The Nets have all the leverage. Kevin Durant has no leverage. If he doesn't like it, make him sit out. Folks, you are not paying attention. You are just angry that players have a lot of power in the NBA. That has to be the answer. Not because the idea that the Nets have all the leverage is wrong. They don't have all the leverage. Yes, if they don't trade Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, I think we can both agree they're not going to take the court for the Brooklyn Nets, right? Is that, is that fair to say? That there is no way that those two are going to take the court for the Brooklyn Nets? If they both want it out, no. Absolutely not. Well, and then here's the thing. The Nets don't have their own picks. So if they keep KD and they keep Kyrie, but they refuse to play, which they will, the Nets will be the worst team in the NBA. How is that leverage when you gain nothing from that? Nobody will be in the building. All of your press will be bad. No future stars will ever, ever think about coming to your organization. And you will be putting out nowhere near a competitive product while not being putting yourself in a legitimate position to actually bring in valuable draft assets. I'm sorry, but I don't think people understand leverage. Yes, KD has four years on the deal. That's the Nets' leverage in that they can get a lot back when they trade Kevin Durant. But, Donnie, this idea that they can just put KD in an arm lock and keep him in Brooklyn, no, they can't. They can't. They don't have anywhere near as much leverage as people like to pretend.